Hey guys, Doug and Jamie, Pine Tree Line Outdoors. We're here out camping. And one of the things we've uh, wanted to talk about for a little while now is insect repellent, insect protection, mosquito protection, black fly protection. We have three different ways, uh, maybe even four, that we deal with uh, insects when we're camping or we're in the outdoors in Northern Ontario. Jamie? First of all, uh, we have a fogger here that Costco sells and it's relatively cheap. Um, you get two balls of 14 bucks made from uh, ortho. Uh, mosquito be gone max and basically Doug this is a fogger it'll fog the area so if you want to knock down the mosquitoes black flies in the area that you're camping this is a great option you can fog the whole area down so Jamie and I have used this already we've used it a couple times already um, and basically we've fogged the area we've been in and we found a noticeable uh, decline in mosquitoes and black flies to be uh, to be honest with you so it's a great product it's not super expensive it's a great idea if you're going to stay in one spot for a long period of time. Another option that we use sometimes when we're in the same area for a long time is we'll actually light a fire a little earlier in the day in order to keep, get the smoke going and that seems to obviously keep some um, insects away, some mosquitoes and black flies. The thing is, if you want to leave your camping spot to go fishing or you're going to go on a hike or something, you don't want to leave your fire unattended. So what this does, it gives you that opportunity, instead of lighting that fire early, if you know you're going to be going somewhere, you take the fogger, fog the area, let it kind of settle in. One of the other methods uh, we've been using quite a bit this year, uh, this is a new product to us, uh, it's Lloyd's Insect Repellent. And the great thing about this uh, insect repellent, it's industrial strength. The uh, DEET content is about 25% DEET, which is not unusual against some other products. Uh, but their mix seems to work really, really well. And where you're going to find um, this product is in a lot of industrial areas uh, sold to industry where uh, men and women are working out in the field uh, and they're combating mosquitoes, black flies, ticks, all kinds of stuff like that. And that's where you'll find this. They've been making products since uh, 1919. They're out of Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. I'm going to put a couple of links where you can buy them online. Other than that, you're gonna, gonna have to look around and see maybe if they sell it in your local area and maybe ask uh, for it. We've used it uh, quite a bit uh, recently in a couple different uh, trips. And I'm telling you, Jamie, uh, I don't know about you, but I know for me it's worked really well. Yeah, we used it on our last canoe trip and I actually sprayed one arm with Lloyd's and the other one with the competitor made by, I think it was Off. Yeah. The Lloyd's held up, I'll tell you. It's, it, it is very strong when you first spray it. You definitely can smell it in the thick of things. It really works. Uh, the whole thing about DEET, and I'm not going to get into a big discussion about uh, DEET. We know that DEET was invented, uh, for refer to my notes here, in 1944 for the U.S. military uh, for jungle warfare. This contains 25% DEET. In Canada, you're allowed to have a product up to 30% DEET. And I know in the U.S., they go up to 100% thing is once you get past 30 percent you're no longer getting any more use out of the deed you're just getting time so deed at 30 percent might last three to six hours or deed at hundred percent will last you know nine to twelve hours so you're not really getting any advantage by having the higher concentrate of deed it's just a time thing I know it gets criticized a lot deed does especially here in Canada uh, but the one thing you have to remember is after like uh, eight billion applications by human beings there hasn't been a whole lot of issues with DEET. So if you use it on your clothing, on skin that's not open, and you use it wisely, you're not gonna have an issue with DEET. Yeah, and a lot of people are, are always looking for a repellent that is DEET free. I prefer to go DEET free, uh, try to find a product that works for you. We're just telling you what yeah. works for us. When we test out these products, it's in the thick of things. It's the worst possible uh, area for flies and mosquitoes that you can imagine. Yeah, insects do not like the smell of the chemical DEET, and that's why DEET works so well. But if you can find a product or if you prefer to find a product that doesn't have DEET in it, hey, all the best to you, whatever works. We're just telling you again what works for us. Another thing we like to use when we're out here is uh, these trays. This tray's from uh, Tim Hortons, popular coffee uh, house here in Canada mm -hmm. and uh, in, uh, in the Northern States for the mm -hmm. most part. Yeah. Um, but you can get these, of course, at any uh, McDonald's or basically anywhere. It's recycled, made with recycled paper. And what we like to do is we like to cut it up into fours and we'll just light one end of it, we'll blow out the flame, and we'll just let it smolder. And it creates the smoke that mosquitoes don't they, like. They don't like it at all. And the, the egg cartons as well. Egg cartons work well. Yeah, we keep all our egg cartons uh, and we burn them when we go. It's so cheap uh, because every time you go get a coffee or you know, you're getting eggs for yourself, keep your cartons, 
getting coffee, get it in a tray. You can put four around you, around where you're sitting. You can put it further out and that smoke, that smoldering smoke, mosquitoes don't like it. It works really well here in Northern Ontario. And find the, the wind direction as well. So if you have wind coming in from a certain direction of your camp, light it, put it up a wind a little bit, and you'll see it'll come right through your camp area and the flies, like, like Doug said, they can't stand it. Yeah, and basically the, the other method we, uh, again, I referred to earlier, is just lighting a fire earlier during the day. And as long as you're there to tend the fire, yep. it's another great way of creating that smoke it, yeah. and, and getting rid of the, those mosquitoes, those black flies, the flies, horse flies. From a couple of guys from Northern Ontario, that's what we, uh, we use and we advise you guys to use because it works for us. Yeah, that's it, right? That's it. It's right on. So enjoy camping, enjoy the outdoors. Don't be afraid to go out just because there's some black flies or some horse flies or some mosquitoes. There are ways to combat them. Just got to try them. You got to get the deets. <laughs> got to get the deets on the deets. <laughs> All right, brother. All right. All right. Take care.